Hey guys, Biggie here from Biggie Mini C. Uh, you know, I'm in Incheon here for just a week and I'm finding it kind of difficult to make videos in Incheon. And the reason is, this is feels like home. It's hard to make videos showing people uh, what is, uh, what's so special about the place that you're so comfortable with. So, uh, one of the places I want to show you today is a market. This is a market uh, called Sokbawi Market. Uh, and it shows to me kind of the one of my favorite things about Korea, which is how different it can be when you just walk two or three minutes. So here we're on a main street in Incheon, and as you can see, it's just uh, as much a, a city as anywhere else in the world. Sometimes you wouldn't know that you're not in Manhattan. Uh, everything is available within a two or three minute walk. Well, let's see what happens when you just take a walk down uh, a side street and see how it changes. Here we go. To prepare for this day, I got myself a coffee. Now, coffee shops in Korea are a little bit different than what you might find in America. They open at 10 a.m. Doesn't make any sense to me. In the morning, you want coffee. So the little side shops of uh, coffee that sell coffee for one or two dollars are open. But the difference is in Korea, oftentimes coffee shops are meeting places after a meal or with friends and they're a little more expensive. So that's why they don't open till later. But I got myself some Pex coffee, off-brand latte, tastes fantastic. So we take a right turn off the main street, you can see the big apartments in the middle. And right below is Hokbawi Market, one of my favorite places in Incheon because it shows to me how the old and the new are just so close together here in Korea. All sorts of fruits, vegetables. Over here we have fish. This is just the first turn. Let's take a look. Meat, everything. Dried food, dried fish. We have some norchi, which is the anchovies. Whole thing of seaweed. All sorts of different rices and nuts and uh, grains for sale. Some uh, tok, which is like a sweet rice compound. shoes for sale. Kimbap, sundae, tteokbokki. And of course you can't have a market without incredible amounts of kimchi. As you can see behind me, it's endless kimchi. We have stacks of all sorts of regular kimchi back here. We have some chokka, which is uh, some more raw squid, almost like a uh, ceviche type thing, spicy ceviche. We have uh, lotus root, some beans, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful Korean panchan dishes. Oh, so tasty. Everything looks so tasty. Look, odeng. And this is one of my famous ones. This is made of, uh, it's totorimuk. It's made of uh, acorns, acorn powder. And you take it and you grind it up and you make kind of a jelly out of it. It looks very nice with uh, a spicy sauce. Mm. This store sells hanu. Hanu is the Korean special beef, Korean cows that have been uh, raised in a very wonderful environment and it's quite expensive. Uh, you can see them hanging here and also if you go all the different parts of the animal and if you go over here you can see the gift boxes. This is what you might give a, a, as a very nice gift to somebody. Uh, who would know how to use a lot better than I would. Some nice marbleized hanu. It's early here in the market and there's not many people here yet. It's maybe uh, just 11 a.m. But all the vegetables are laid out in such a beautiful way, ready to be bought. Oh, look how nice they look. So much vegetables. Anything you want really to make at home, you can get it here. If you want a meal, just come to the market and get anything you need. If you need pants, if you need socks, if you need shoes, if you need socks, Anything, it's right here. The hiking pants used on every mountain in Korea. Even blankets, you can you make blankets. And of course, if you're a little bit lonely, don't forget your assortment of teddy bears, also for sale at the local market. Now this next stall is one that I've been curious about for a while. I, I know what most of the stuff in the market is. And this I know there's ginseng, but there's a bunch of trees, a bunch of roots here that I have no idea what they are. I think they're for tea, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna find out and maybe buy some because one of my favorite teas here in Korea is where you take the roots of 
some unknown plant. You drop it in water, you boil it for 10 minutes, and it just makes this amazing tea. So I'm gonna see if I can figure that out uh, here at the market, maybe we'll buy some. This I know, this is, uh, actually I don't know, this is not what I expected. Uh, all sorts of roots here, uh, susam, all sorts of things. Oh, look at all the roots. And the back here is maybe kepi, chungpi, which is kind of a, So I got some of the spiky ones. Yeah. So I got some of the spiky ones. Uh, she said it's already washed, and uh, you just kind of wash it a little bit, put it in some water, and make some tea. So we're gonna see how that goes. I've probably never had this before. I don't think the ones I had were spiky ones, but we're gonna find out and see. Here we have Huangi. I'm not sure what that is, if it's related to ginseng or not. But again, more tons of tons and tons and tons of the same. Oh, this is the same thing I got, Um Namu. Lots and lots of dried mushrooms, tree roots, all sorts of uh, cinnamon type things, all sorts of trees. I think we're pretty used to uh, cinnamon here in, in back home. Uh, you take the, the tree, the, you take the, the part of the outside of the tree, you wash it off, you boil it, and you get cinnamon. Although usually now we just buy it at the store. Um, but I think here they're using tons of trees, lots of different parts of trees. Really, really tasty. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite places. It's hard to go without getting some mandu. So this is uh, kimchi mandu. I don't know if they have gogi mandu yet, but kimchi mandu station. Love me some mandu. Well, I came to the market with just a cup of coffee and I leave with bags in my hand. What surprise is that? Okay, so we're at the end here. And as we walk out of the market, we come to another side of just a city that's uh, just like any other city. Coffee shops. Sidewalks, cars, trucks, everything you need for an amazing city, six lane highway. So that's how uh, in Korea sometimes all it takes is a one minute walk behind some buildings to get to what things might have been like 30, 40, 50, 100 years ago. It's again uh, Big E from Big E Mini C. Have a wonderful day. Subscribe below, please. Minam, Bigie, Samgyap Sarimida, go to Kejuseo.